The rose hips we used are forage from local bushes in our local area and it's believed that rose hips were discovered during World War II in the UK when fresh food was in short supply. Rose hips as a superfood were discovered when scientists realised that they contained 20 times more vitamin C than citrus fruits. Families were advised to make and use this form of superfood to give families their vitamin C boost and also have a medicine during the winter months. Rose hip syrup is typically used for cough medicine but it's also used to sweeten things like pancakes, cakes, biscuits and drinks including cocktails. This simple, no frills, no heating, no fuss rose hip syrup recipe is ideal for families to make and also keep for those winter months. We simply layer the rose hips alternative, alternately with sugar. We prefer to use brown sugar until we reach the top of the jar. We seal the container with its lid. Place on a sunny windowsill but not before a good shape. We also continue to shape the jar every single day, sometimes twice a day, to make sure that the rose hips are nice and squashed and absorb all of the sugar to turn into the syrup. When the rose hips are ready, they usually take about two to three months, depending on how well you shape them. So we usually start our rose hips syrup in say July August so then by the colder winter months such as November December and January and February we have the rose hip syrup to hand one spoonful every couple of hours or once a day in the morning depending on how everyone's feeling sometimes just for a boost is more than enough it's nice and sweet the children love it and it also breaks away from the seeds too, so they don't have to digest the seeds. You can actually just scoop the syrup out. There are other recipes on YouTube, which we'll link below, that show you different methods on how to make rose hip syrup. This one suits us as it's quick, easy, and can be done by the children without intervention. Thanks for watching.